Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm taking you guys through my current wash day routine. I'm starting off by giving myself a hot oil treatment. After I removed those knotless braids, I felt like my hair was in desperate need of some TLC. So I scheduled an appointment at a salon so that I could have a professional take a look at my hair. While I was there, we compared pictures of my hair from last year and that day in the salon. And we pretty much decided that my hair had either reached a plateau or it had been breaking off from lack of care and maintenance. So today I am massaging in that hot oil treatment and then I'm going to let it sit on my scalp for about three minutes. When that's all finished, I go ahead and remove my Meek Mill braids. The braids were very easy to remove this time. I'm not sure if it was because of the oil or because I only wore the braids for three weeks or because the braids were put in on blown out hair, but whatever the case was, they were super easy to detangle after the fact. I am very tender headed. I have very sensitive scalp, so I am very particular about the detangling method. I normally apply water or a detangling conditioner to my dried hair and then I will detangle, but my hair was so soft y'all, I didn't need to this time. So now that that's finished, I go ahead and hop in the shower. I pretty much drench my entire hair in water. Typically this would be me really just trying to rinse out any excess product that I have put in my hair from styling, but because my hair was in those braids, I didn't use anything other than oil, maybe once a week to oil my scalp. Um, so here I'm just trying to make sure that all of my curls convert back and I'm just trying to prep it really good so that I can get ready to apply my shampoo. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I normally use a cheap shampoo, but today I got all new products because I wanted to try some different things and I also wanted more black owned products in my house. So I'm washing my hair with the Camille Rose Naturals Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse Shampoo. And then I'm following up with the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask Deep Conditioner. And then I'll be using the TGIN Miracle Repair Protective Leave-In Conditioner. I'm applying my shampoo in those sections that I created prior to hopping in the shower, but you want to make sure that you thoroughly apply the shampoo to all parts of your hair, not just the front, not just the back, not just down the middle of your part. Um, in order to promote healthy hair growth, you have to cleanse your entire scalp. So if you have really thick hair, it's going to be important that you go through and you make smaller sections so that you can really get that shampoo on all areas of your hair. So I'm just working that shampoo into my hair from roots to end and then I'm taking my finger beds to like massage it into my scalp really good. Once you have cleansed your hair really good, you're ready to rinse. I cleansed my hair twice before rinsing. Like I said, I didn't use a whole lot of products in my hair prior to this wash day. I wore my hair in those three bags and I oiled my scalp once a week for the three weeks that I had the braids in. So I didn't have a whole lot to really um, remove from my scalp or my hair. Once I've rinsed the shampoo out of my hair really good, I'm then ready to move on to the next step. I go ahead and I put my hair back into the four sections and I will pin them up using my duckbill clips or my alligator clip just to keep my hair out of the way. I normally will start at the very back with the first section. I will split that into two, so in total I'll end up having eight all together. I then apply my deep conditioner. I'll rake it through that smaller section. And then I'll use my Felicia Leatherman brush to actually detangle the hair.
Every once in a while, I'll throw my head back underneath the shower head so that I can re-moisten some of those sections that have dried out while I worked on other parts of my hair. I'm extremely tender headed and it is a lot easier to detangle my hair while it's wet, so this is a huge preference of mine. Once I've got all my sections twisted up, I go ahead and apply my shower cap and I hop underneath the blow dryer for about 15 minutes. After I've rinsed my deep conditioner really good, I'm now ready to apply my leave-in conditioner. I will remove the twists temporarily, but I will put them back in immediately after raking the leave-in conditioner into my hair. I do not leave the shower with my hair unsectioned and untwisted because then my hair will just tangle back up and it'll be a little bit harder for me to detangle once I actually step out of the shower. After I've applied my leave-in conditioner to all of my sections, that pretty much concludes wash day for me. All I have left to do is style my hair, and today I kept it really simple. I just slicked my hair back into a low ponytail, and I'm going to have that video up for you guys soon. Overall, I really like the products that I decided to use in today's wash day routine. They all smelled really great, but I would have to say that my favorite was the TGIN Honey Mask Deep Conditioner. That product had great slip, and as a tender-headed natural with thick hair, I live for a product that makes detangling easy. Otherwise, that concludes today's video. If you guys like, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. If you have not already, go ahead and go subscribe and comment below how often you wash your hair.